Hi everyone and welcome to the second video in this series and in this one I'm going to show you a bit more of my life skills collection particularly about how you can get started straight away on the road to living your maximum life. I know that sounds like a big mountain to climb but actually it's really easy to get started. All you need is goals and efficiency and I'll come to goals in the next video. But first Let's look at how incredibly easy it is to get a grip of your complicated life. How to feel in control and never forget anything ever again. It's going to take just five minutes. Are you up for it? So in the last video, which if you haven't watched it, pause this and watch it now so that everything makes sense. And the link is in the description box. So in the last video, I talked about how we get most of our information from four places, all of which are fairly useless. I started to talk about how we all want to enjoy and achieve more in our lives, living a maximum life, and how my life skills collection is different to everything you've seen before. So if you're serious about making a difference to your happiness and your success in life, you don't want to miss it. So how do we get started? Well, efficiency is the foundation of everything. And yet most people haven't got things under control. They have a never ending list of tasks, which they often start in the wrong order and they never finish. So although they're busy all day, they have a feeling of not really making progress and that makes them unhappy too. Imagine being on top of your tasks. So here's what you do and we're going to do it together right now. First, you start by writing everything down on one master list. It's no good having stuff in your email inbox, Slack, Facebook messages, texts, post-it notes stuck on your computer screen and even in your head. How can you organise something like that? But if you gather it all together into one list, everything written down all in one place, then you can look at it and you can decide what's most urgent and which things are important and which ones aren't. So this is the first step towards getting control of all of the stressful mess that's in your mind. Without a master list, you'll have an uneasy feeling that you're forgetting things that are important and you will forget some things you're bound to. You'll also worry about whether you can do everything that you need to do. And you won't be able to plan because you can't see it all in one place. You'll end up doing whatever other people chase you for, things that are urgent but not important, rather than the things that you choose to do because they're important to you. This list affects all aspects of the way you live your life. And it will only take you 10 minutes to write it. Try it. I bet within 10 minutes, you'll have got pretty much everything collected in one place. Now, what would this list look like? Well, it could be on a piece of paper or a Word document or a spreadsheet or an Outlook or on a whiteboard on your wall <laughs> or in an app. But the key is to get everything onto this one list. So straight after this video, I want you to make that list. It'll feel good even if it's longer than you were expecting. And it will instantly feel like a weight being lifted to have everything in one place where you know nothing will get forgotten. Next, you need a daily jobs to do list. I've drawn it small because it will be much smaller than the master list. This is completely different from the master list. It's just a scrap of paper or an app or a few lines in your calendar where you write down the small jobs that you're going to do today. Master list, daily list. And you write this every day. And it'll help you to focus on what needs to be done that day. And You'll feel great as you cross things off it. You'll get twice as much done if you have this list. You'll go from drifting or rushing through each day, reacting to whatever pops up in front of you, to knocking things off your list, doing the things that you want to get done, while still handling the other stuff that comes up. I promise, try it and you'll see how easy it is and how well it works. Now, most people have a jobs to-do list when they're busy, but not many people have one every day. Even though it only takes two minutes to write it. So, 
If you become one of the 8% who have a jobs to-do list every day, you're already in the top group of the most efficient people. Now, what time of day to write it? Ideally, I think, last thing when you finished work, the end of your day. So that might be before you head home from the office or before you walk away from your computer and do something else for the evening if you work from home or before you go to bed. Now, one more thing about the jobs to do list. Make sure you have something important on it every day, as well as the urgent stuff that has to be done. Have a look at your master list, pick something important and move across the first part of that onto your daily list. Maybe you're planning to start your own business. So you could take the first step of putting make a list of competitors onto your daily list. And then you're starting to nibble into those big important projects that are on your master list. Finally, you'll need to use your diary or calendar in a more effective way. Now, I don't have time to go into a lot of detail here, but just to say, keep some spare time free for things that are gonna crop up during your day. Never fill your diary completely full. Also, book some spare time out for yourself, just thinking time, because that is important. And finally, make a note of any promises that people have made to you. Get a date and put the promise into that date in your diary. So you won't forget to hold them to account if they haven't done it by that date. People will get much better at keeping their promises to you if they know that you're going to remember. And you can do this with almost no effort at all. Just put it in your diary. So these are the three building blocks of efficiency, master list, daily list, and diary. And you can see that they're all quick and easy to do, and they will give you control and you'll get more done, and all with lower stress. Now, in my Life Skills Collection, I cover hundreds of other things like this. Some of them small, quick things, some of them bigger and longer term, like where's your career going, and how to create a happy working relationship with your boss, and how to negotiate, and where 90% of your happiness comes from. There's all sorts of useful stuff in there, so make sure you stay on the lookout because in a few days I'll release more information about it and I'll show you what's included. Now in the next video I'm going to cover one of my favourite things from the collection. It's probably the one thing that changed my life more than anything else I've ever done. It gets right to the essence of what living a maximum life really means. So stay tuned, don't miss the next video. It's seriously life-changing stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.